down. I got stuff I never had now. I can brag now. Yeah, my niggas, they gon' spaz out. They don't What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, J Man Flow, aka Mr. Skills Go. Bring y'all boys, man. We ready. Another story time. Y'all been waiting. Y'all shall receive. Thank you, coaches. You know what I'm saying? I just been busy. You know what I'm saying? T you know what I'm saying? Merchandise. Y'all been asking for hoodies, t shirts. Coming soon, man. Let's kill that like button, man. Y'all boys have got me to a point where I have my own clothing line. Like, you got. I just love all y'all boys. So that's coming soon, man. And so we back. Y'all read the. Okay. Enough with the. Enough with the. Uh, all the little stuff. Y'all know we got merchandise coming soon. I'm saying. Uh, so. Y'all remember, uh, y'all read this, y'all read the title. If y'all here for the title, the time the one night stand, extreme, man. I, I just need y'all to have some background, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I need y'all to have some background. So, I'm gonna ask y'all a question one time. Does any of y'all, you know what I'm saying, do some of y'all, you know I'm saying, I don't know the morals you guys live by, but I'm gonna tell some of y'all the morals I live by so y'all will understand the mindset and why I acted the way I acted in this story, not like I was some cocky, egotistical you know what I'm saying? Just butthole. Like, I don't want anyone to think that. So I need to give y'all some background of why I think the way I think actions I perform and why I always say caution. And I don't do any of these things because I think, you know, I'm above anyone else. Like, a lot of people have this mindset that I'm just this, uh, literally this terrible person, which I'm really not. Like, I'm really just smiling 24-7. Especially if y'all got me on Snapchat, y'all know I'm just smiling 24-7. Like, I don't know. I need y'all to know me and you, we don't have the same mindset. Uh, y'all got this, uh, you, I mean, we sort of had the same mindset, but we don't. We There might be some people out there that we do have the same mindset, but I have rarely came by people who have had the same mindset how I've had like this. Uh, I came by one person who had this same exact mindset, uh, but we're going to get into it. Yeah, so I need y'all to know, when it comes to like morals, family, and anything, I don't care about none of that. Y'all like, what do you mean by that? I do care about morals and stuff and family, yes. But I think at the end of the day, when it absolutely comes down, to fight or flight, y'all don't know what that is. When it comes down to a situation where only you can get yourself out, you're the only person who can truly, at the end of the day, have your back because anyone can turn on you. You can lose people at any time. And I'm not saying like you're the only person that have your back because everybody around you is negative. Anything can happen to people around you. You have the, the, all these loved ones. I'm not saying wishing this happens to anyone, but anything, you know, can happen to people around you. And if something was to happen to people around you, or if you was to be isolated from these people in time, or if your job pulls you for somewhere for a year, can you have your own back? Like, cause everybody say like, y'all always got to say, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. No, no, not my saying. I scratch my back, you scratch your back, you know? I don't want to scratch my back, you know? Not that I don't I don't want it, because like I said, I'm not an egotistical asshole. I just want to scratch my own, you scratch your own, because at the end of the day, I'm telling y'all, the only person you have in this world is yourself. You know, woke up like the dude from Home Alone, would y'all have been able to do what he been able to do? Let me know in the comments right now. Let me know in the comments right now. Y'all woke up, all your and your whole family is in Paris or somewhere, and all you got is you know you still got your mama's you still got your mama's debit cards and stuff in the phone, landlines, lights, everything on water. Can you you know what I'm saying? Can you actually do what that little boy did? Like there's kids out there I know taking care of their little brothers and sisters, so it's a lot of kids that is out there like that. But it's like that's the mindset I had. Like I bet you a lot of y'all moms still scrub y'all in the shower, and some of y'all if you 12 and under. If you a teenager, I know it's a teenager. I know one of y'all moms is still scrubbing y'all, bathing y'all, somehow still doing something that got to do with hygiene with y'all because, you, oh, y'all, it's, oh, my God. I know it's a teenager out there watching. He out there. My life. My life is filled with AIDS, you know what I'm saying? Not that I have AIDS, but everything that happens around me is the, the subjects, the topics, it just AIDS. The situations, AIDS. It's just it's toxic. You don't want to be around it, bro. Like, and y'all know TG, you know what I'm saying? TG, that's the gang we started. That's a squad. TG, rep it in the comments. But, it, but it's like, I'm the god of AIDS. I When it comes to real life, I am the god of AIDS, bro. Like, it, it is it is wow, bro. So, we in BG, y'all know what time it is if y'all in college. We in, you know what I'm saying? We turn up in Ohio, chilling. Boom, boom, boom. Bada, bada, boom, pow. You know, we chilling. So, y'all know if you go, like, if you going out, you going to the bars and stuff to hang out, or you going to the, to the, wherever the party's at. So, you know the party don't, prom time don't start till, like, you know what I'm saying, 12, 1 o'clock. 11.30 to 12.30 is prime time. That's when, that 11.30 is when you are allowed to show up to the bar. If you show up to the bar at 10.30, one, you're a freshman. Two, your girl just broke up with you and you thirsty. 
Three? I don't know, man. You just got, I don't know, man. Unless, like, and this is only for, like, you know what I'm saying, college students or, like, you know what I'm saying, college graduates or older or young young adults. I'm not going to say, because old men going to be like, I got work in the morning. I mean, that talking about, you got talking about y'all. Talking about young adults. You know what I'm saying? Kids who still enjoy clubbing. Young adults, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28. We're not talking about the four, you know, the older kids with whole families. You know, we know y'all got families and kids. We get that. We're not talking about So, yeah, y'all don't know. 11, 30, 12, 30 is prime time. So, uh, here we go, man. So, prime time, we get into the bar. And I meet a girl. I'm just going to call her Claudia. I'm going to call her Claudia. We're going to call her Claudia, man. That's not her real name, obviously. I just said Claudia. I'm not going to say her race because every time I say a girl race in a story time, it's always a race war that breaks out in the comments. I don't know why y'all start that, but I'm not going to say race. Jamie, I, I, every time I say a girl race, I'm racist against the other the other girl. If I say a girl's black, I don't like white girls. If I say a girl's white, I don't like black girls. If I say a girl's Mexican, I don't like Latinos. I don't know what y'all want me to do. You want me to sit here and like, this is why I stay in my room. And this is why I do not leave my house. After this situation, this situation happened like two months ago. I'm. This is why I do not leave my house anymore. Ever. Ever. I wake up, make videos for y'all. Y'all the gang, y'all the family. I make videos for y'all and we get back to sleep. We wake up and we repeat. That's what we do. I am a lone wolf. <laughs> I am a lone wolf. <laughs> but yeah, Claudia, man, bad girl, man. But not one of them bad, like, ooh, she bad. Like, as in you can tell she might be a thought, but as in like, you know, beautiful girl. Like, you know, she's still bad, but like she bad as in you can just tell, bruh. She confident in herself. She, she, like, you know, she got that look, that hazel in her eye, bro. She got that smile, bro. She got them teeth, bro. Everything about her growing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just So I'm like, why? I got to talk to her. So she looked young, though. So I'm like, bro, I'm 21 years old. I don't know what's about to happen. So I just go up to her. And I'm like, look, uh, what's up? I'm not going to. A lot of y'all be wanting to hear the details. Like, I don't know. Like, y'all be like, hey, like, I don't know what y'all want me to say. Like, I don't remember everything I said. Like, you know what I'm saying? I spit my game because that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? She ended up laughing, doing her thing. It was good, man. You hungry? Yeah, that's my dog, man. Doggy dog world right here. My only homie right here, coach. I told you about the whoop de whoop. So, yeah, she in the club. So, we talking. Boom. I get her to start laughing. And I had a baby face at the time. I know when I shave, I just look real young, but I'm 21. And she was like, I was like, how old are you? And she was like, you're not going to believe me. Because, like, I'm thinking, like, damn, she about to be like, I'm 18. I'm like, cause like, yeah, like, yeah, that's legal, but like, you too young, bro. 18, nah. <laughs> and she like, yeah, I'm probably like too old for you. I'm, I'm 21 too. Like, yes. Like, I'm thinking like, bro, this girl, like, she just looked like she about to be, you know, successful. She's so confident. She looks like she's going to be successful. She don't look like, cause girls be thinking, yeah, some of you girls out there, yeah, y'all bad. Y'all look good, but y'all be, y'all attitudes, y'all personality make y'all ugly. It's unattractive, bro. I don't care how good you look. If your personality is always negative, get away from me. Like, stay away from me, you know? I don't care how good you look. I don't care how you, like, some of you girls, I know some of y'all gonna watch this. Get that in your head, bro. How is he, how is he with her? I look better, my eyebrows, this, I'm mean, that's why I like this. Like, no one likes that, bro. Go take that shit somewhere else. But yeah, anyway, back to the story. We, we, we went to eat, and I text my dude, like, look, I got my whip. And do y'all, do you do, 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 I was like, look, do y'all, do y'all need me to drop any of y'all home? Because, like, we was in another town. And they was like, nah, we cool, you know, we got it. You can do your thing. I said, bet, you know what I'm saying? So I can got my car and I got this girl, you know? And then she was like, yeah, I live close too. I'm like, say no more. This cannot be any more perfect. It's one mission, bro. We got to get to the mission. It's time to get to it. It's time to get to it, coach. You know what time it is. So uh, we get to the, uh, we get to Burger King. Boom, we finish our Burger King. Her, she was like, yeah, our, my, my friend about to meet me at my place because there's only like one right now. She like, yeah, my friend about to meet me at my place and we gonna turn up for so like a couple more hours. Whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. She had a couple people coming through. I said, say no more. She about to have a kickback. I said, say no more. She was like, yeah, it's like a 30 minute walk. I said, say no more. I can do that. 30 minutes talking to a beautiful girl I never met. Y'all know how time flies, man. Man, fucking man. But y'all, uh, so yeah. Uh, so anyway, we get into the, uh, we finish our Burger King. And her, her friend was like, we uh we got we gotta cut it short because they had something to do later. She was like, we're gonna be there in like 10 minutes instead of like 30 or an hour. She was like, oh, we ain't gonna be able to make it. Like I was like, 
but I had my car. But and then this is why I told y'all that thing in the beginning. I didn't want to show her my car because I and y'all gonna be like, cause if I would have said I didn't want to think I was a gold digger, y'all would have been like, bro, you only got a hundred K subs. Like you don't got that much money to be gold digging. But you don't gotta have a million dollars to be gold digging, guys. To to have a gold digger come to you. You you some of y'all probably have gold diggers approach you. If you seem like you have a healthy, consistent lifestyle that is attractive to that makes you look cuter than you any you can be ugly, but if you look like you getting consistent money and you're good and you look like you're living a healthy lifestyle, because some people look like they got a lot of money, but then they don't look healthy. I could be wearing a bunch of Gucci design, like y'all be looking at my clothes in these videos. When have y'all saw a Gucci shirt, Louis Vuitton? Like there's a lot of YouTubers who be going on these talking about I bought a twelve hundred dollar Louis Vuitton belt. That's not cute. Like, that's not nothing to brag about. That's dumb. <laughs> and I got to be making at least a million a year to spend a thousand dollars on a bill. But if I'm making YouTube money for like 120K subs and any YouTubers know how much we make, y'all know how much we make. Yeah, we can probably do that and get away with that sometimes, but no, that's just dumb. I'm thinking like once she sees my car, which was a Camaro, like she might think like cause I want her like I'm like okay this girl is genuine she looks she got all the looks I don't know how she is in here though so I want to get to know that before I tell her anything about the way I live you know what I'm saying so I, that's what I was trying to do so I, I thought we was gonna walk she wasn't gonna see my car we were just gonna talk all night do whatever get to the mission you never know what could happen that night we was gonna do our thing so I didn't want her to know I don't like telling anybody about my YouTube she needs to get to that place fast in 10 minutes. I'm like, I got a car, whatever. So I'm like, it's across the street in the parking lot. We walk across the street. We get in the parking lot. I beat my car. And she's like, oh my God, this is your car. How? You're only 20 years old. How is this your car? You're only 20 years old. Like, like. Yeah, I play video games. She's like, oh, you're like a professional gamer? I said, yeah, yeah, you know? So I didn't say YouTube, but like I had clout or anything. I'm like, all the follow, the following I have. I just said like, I'm a professional gamer, like as in tournaments, yada, yada, yada. Because like, girls will go after clout too, you know? They will go after clout. Like, if they see you have a following, they're after you, you know? I don't care how ugly you are. But yeah, your girl, some of these YouTubers, y'all got bad girlfriends, but they only, some of them only with y'all because you, I'm sorry, some of them only with y'all because you money, but uh, we gonna move on. In my mind, I'm still trying to get to the mission. I'm like, all right, whatever. Because I brought my protection with me, because we finally gonna get to the mission, I brought my protection with me. The mission, but that's not my only intent, you know, because, but if, if it happens, it happens. I always got it. So it, it does end up, we chilling, we watching, we sitting there watching Disney Channel movies on Netflix. You know, I'm a big fan of the Disney Channel movies. Then once we was watching the Disney movie, y'all know how I love my Disney movies. Once we start watching them, man, she start acting different. Like her vibe before was like a friendship. Like she don't know me. I'm still trying to get to know you. But this time her vibe was strong. Like, you know, I'm <laughs> so this was good for me at first. But I'm like, I hope this not just because she saw my car and everything. Because that's all she was talking about. Like, yo, you really do videos. And this is what you do for a living. Yada, yada, yada. Like, yada, 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 yada. I'm like. I hope she not really just like down up, down, still down. I'm still, I'm still a young adult at the end of the day. I'm a young boy. I'm a young hound. I'm a young soldier. <laughs> hey, so y'all know what time it is, man. Uh, so I end up like whoopty, whoopty, whoopty. So we end up whoopty, 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 stop. Watch the movie. In the middle of that movie, whoopty, 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 stop. Three, four in the morning. And we're not gonna get into all the details. Some of y'all be asking me about the details and I'll just be like, bruh, you know what I mean? And I take my, I take my, I'm not gonna keep saying protection cause that gonna sound, that gonna make it awkward for both of us. Me and you gonna feel awkward. Cause y'all gonna be, y'all gonna be looking at y'all phones like every time I say my protection. I took the cap off the bottle, all right? I took the cap off the bottle. The cap is now off the bottle, okay? Now that the, the cap is near my, like my hip on the bed, and I can feel it there. I reach over to check my phone for notifications, and I forgot to throw the cap away immediately, because I usually, when I take the cap off, I throw it away immediately, but then I, you know what I'm saying? Then, then I do the thing, but this time I just check my phone for notifications, because it kept going off, and then I turn back. 